635. We check back in now with Mike Eppel over at 680 News for the latest in business. And it means gas prices are going down. They're not too bad right now. Yeah, first time in over a year, Tammy, that the peak price at the pumps here in the GTA is below a loonie per liter. 99.9 .9 cents is the most expensive price now for regular gas. Of course, now shop around late in the day. We've already seen prices dropping to the low 90 cent threshold. In fact, with it now below that dollar per liter mark, could even see it below 90 cents later today because it's been in some cases 10 cents below the peak price in and around the GTA. It's an oversupplied market right now and we are feeling the benefit of that for consumers. We've got day 35 of the U.S. government shutdown and the Wall Street markets collectively shrugging the shoulders as the S&P and NASDAQ have been up six of the past seven trading days. And right now we've got Dow Futures Index up 175 points. So even though the 800,000 people or thereabouts in the U.S. are not getting paid for a second paycheck in a row, the markets are climbing. Why? Well, the theory is that the U.S. Federal Reserve might be pushed to the sidelines. They won't be able to raise interest rates in this environment, so that is effectively good for the equity markets. Stock slump, meantime, for Intel. This is the world's biggest computer chip maker. They've lowered their sales guidance, and this could be a, a signal of slowing sales in the entire tech sector. Intel is seen as a bellwether. It's a supplier for Apple, which, of course, has recently lowered its sales expectations for the iPhone. But other than Intel's share price this morning being lower, the rest of the market looks pretty good. Big week for Restaurant Brands International. This is the parent company of Tim Hortons, which earlier this week released the uh, preliminary sales estimates on the fourth quarter. Numbers look great, and Tim Hortons uh, up by 2.2% for its sales in the fourth quarter, which was seen as a big number. Restaurant Brands International stock at the TSX up by 11% so far this week. And some Bitcoin talk at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. Is the cryptocurrency perhaps going to a zero valuation? It was over a year ago where it was $20,000 U.S. It has dropped precipitously since. It's down to 3500 this morning, Roger. Oh. And, yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and, and J.P. Morgan has calculated that it actually costs more to mine one Bitcoin. There's all sorts of computers and calculations that you have to do to get a Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. And the electricity drain to run those computers is astronomical, so it's not exactly environmentally friendly. Yep. It costs four thousand dollars to mine a Bitcoin. It's worth thirty five hundred bucks US as of this morning. So you're actually oh, losing money if you're in that market. Mike, you can't lose. You can't lose on this one. Guaranteed <laughs> yeah. winner. So they said. Thirty thousand last so year, right? Twenty thousand. Or twenty thousand last it's year. It's still ridiculous. Yeah. It's still crazy. <laughs> All right.